Good day, learners. I am Miss Tin, your guru Kamigo. Welcome to another fun and exciting learning with me. Today we are going to talk about series and parallel circuit. At the end of this video lesson, grade 5 learners are expected to Determine the effects of changing the number or type of components in a circuit. In the previous lesson, you have learned that electrical circuit has four parts. A source or battery, light bulb, wires, and switch. You also learned that in an open circuit, electricity does not flow because there is a gap or no complete path from one end of the circuit to the other end, while in a closed circuit, the path of electricity is complete, allowing electricity to flow through it. This time, you will learn about the effects of changing the number of components in a circuit. Have you observed that in a series of Christmas lights, once a bulb is busted, the entire series of lights will not light up. Compare it with lights at home. Does it follow the same situation? For instance, when a bulb in a room is busted, will the bulbs in other parts of the house do not light up? Christmas lights and light bulbs in your house have different kinds of circuits. One is a series circuit, and the other one is a parallel circuit. Look at the illustration carefully. Bulbs that are connected one after the other in one train is an example of series circuit. In a series circuit, electric current flows through a single path. So, when one bulb is loosened or busted, all the other bulbs in this circuit will not light anymore. The loosened or busted bulb breaks or opens the pathway. So, electricity cannot flow through. A parallel circuit, on the other hand, has light bulbs with different loops. Thus, each bulb is a part of a different circuit. When one bulb is loosened, taken or burnt out, the other bulbs still light up. This is because each bulb has its own pathway. A break in one pathway does not make all the lights go out because electricity can still flow through the other pathways. What kind of circuit do you have at home? If you turn off one bulb, what would happen if you used a series circuit in your home? All the other bulbs will be turned off because in a series circuit, there is only one path of electricity. Thus, the most appropriate circuits for homes is the parallel circuit. In such a circuit, each light and electrical device has its own path of electricity that even if you turn off one of them, the others will still function. The activity that you are going to perform will differentiate series and parallel circuits. Learning Task 1 Prepare the materials listed below. 
is not available, you may use other materials at home to perform the activity. You may ask the help of your parents or guardians or any adult members of the family if needed. Learning Test 2. Answer the following questions. Number 1. Give instances when a parallel circuit is used and when a series circuit is used. Possible answer. In a series circuit, every device must function for the circuit to be complete. One bulb burning out in a series circuit breaks the circuit. In parallel circuits, each light has its own circuit. So, all but one light could be burned out, and the last one will still function. Number 2. Give the advantages and disadvantages in using parallel and series circuit. Possible answer. Learning Test 3 Draw a happy face inside a box above each picture if it is an example of series circuit and sad face if it is an example of parallel circuit.
Let's check your answer. First picture. If you draw a sad face, you are correct. Second picture. If you draw a sad face, perfect. Third picture. If you draw a happy face, that's another point for you. Fourth picture. If you draw a happy face, perfect. And the last picture, if you draw a happy face, that's another point for you. Grade 5 learners, to check your understanding about the lesson, you are going to read the question and choose the letter of the best answer. Number 1. Mary Ann noticed that a set of 10 bulbs in her Christmas tree lights did not light up when it was turned on. What would be a probable cause of this? A. Small wires are used. B. There are bulbs in the strand. C. Small bulbs are used. D. There is one defective bulb in the set. Very good, the answer is letter D. Number 2. What will happen to the other bulbs in a series connection when one bulb is removed? The other bulbs will blank. A. Light B. Not light C. Have dim light D. Have bright light Very good, the answer is letter B. Number 3. What will happen to the other bulbs in a parallel connection when one bulb is removed? A. Few bulbs will light. B. The other bulbs will still light. C. A few bulbs will no longer light. D. The other bulbs will no longer light. Very good, the answer is letter B. Number 4. Which of the following measures can prevent fire caused by electricity? A. Have a regular inspection of electrical cords. B. Avoid walking under low dangling wires. C. Touch a switch with dry hands. D. Do not leave sockets empty. Good job! The answer is letter A. Number 5. In a series connection, why do remaining bulbs not light up when one bulb is taken out of its holder? A. The other bulbs will not light. B. 
the other bulbs will burn out. C. The path of electric current was renewed. D. The path of electric current became incomplete. Very good! The answer is letter D. Reflect on what you learned about the series and parallel circuit. Complete the following statement. The part of the lesson I believe I learned most about is blank. The task which I found most challenging blank because blank. I realized that I can use what I have learned from this lesson when blank. That ends our lesson for today. I hope you had a great time learning with me. Thank you for watching. See you next time.